G clock. Let's go. Right off the bat, pin clickiness is fine, but the issue is the magnet strength to um, index the dials is uh, pretty weak. So I could see overshooting issues and things like that. Probably wondering, well, how did we get to 204 magnets? I'll explain. So let's take a look at a disassembled one here. So here we have a disassembled clock. We all know what that looks like. And let's talk about how we get to 204 magnets. In the pins, each of these pins have a magnet in them, so that's four. Each hole, where it goes, has a magnet. There's eight of those. So now we have 12 that do the pins. For the corners, one side has 12 magnets. There's four of those, so we either get 48 for the corners. For the plus dials, every plus dial has 12 magnets. There are 10 plus dials, we get 120. And then there are 18 rings. Each ring has two magnets, so 18 times two is 36. Adding that all up, we get 204 magnets. So now that we talked about that, let's talk about how we can make it better. And there's one simple thing you have to do. Add magnets into the plus dial, into the center dial. So if you take a look, the white ones, or the non-modified ones, the magnets are pretty far in there. They're about a millimeter recessed. So there's room. Come on. There's, come on, let's go. There's room to put more magnets. See what I mean by those are now up there. So the size magnets you need, two by one. So two millimeter diameter, one millimeter thickness. Add that to the center dials and see how that changes it. Let's put it back together and take a look. All right, they're back together. Let's take a look. So remember the non-modified one. And the modified one, meaning just adding extra magnets, it's better. It's a lot more clicky. It's a lot more tactile. I think with that simple modification, we got one of the best clocks on the market. There we go.